Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the BitLocker error that you might be coming across where it says that the startup options on this PC are configured incorrectly. So we're going to go over how to hopefully resolve without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go and jump into it by opening up the local group policy editor. So open up the start menu. You want to type in edit group policy. One of the best matches should come back with edit group policy. Left click on that one time. Okay guys, so now that we are in the local group policy editor, we want to go and expand underneath computer configuration. So you do not want to be working in the user configuration section, so I'm actually going to just minimize and collapse that view. So underneath computer configuration, you want to go expand the administrative template folder. So either double click on it or left click a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same thing for Windows components, so expand that one as well. Now, once you have Windows Components expanded, you want to look for something that says BitLocker Drive Encryption. Expand that. And there should be something that says Operating System Drives. So I'll click on that. Now, on the right side, you want to double click where it says Require Additional Authentication at Startup. So double click on that. And you want to make sure once the pop up has appeared here, you want to set this to Enabled. You want to uncheck the box where it says allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. So you want to uncheck that box. And then for the next choice where it says configure TPM startup, you want to set it to allow TPM, which should already be there. Where it says configure TPM startup pin, you want to select require startup pin with TPM. Where it says startup key, the next selection, you want to select allow startup key with TPM. So that one should be default. And then the last one here should say configure TPM startup key and pin. You want to select allow startup key and pin with TPM as your default. And then once you're done with that, left click on apply and OK. And that should hopefully be about it, guys. That should get you guys back up and running here. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.